Hi everybody, today we're doing a little tech talk again. Often on the social media sites, I've got new anglers out there asking me how the bionic finger works, how to set up the bionic finger on their rod, and um, I'll just show you guys how it works and the easy way to set up the bionic finger so it's comfortable for you. So firstly, you'll notice that most of the Berkeley and pen rods, when you buy it comes without the bionic finger, the space is left on the rod for you to place your bionic finger. Um, you buy the bionic finger separate and then you place it onto the rod where it suits you. Let me just explain to you guys what the purpose of the bionic finger is. Years ago when we started fishing with the fixed pool reels and braid onto the reels, we, we had a problem with this braid actually cutting your finger when you cast. When you're casting a big bait and the braid just slips a little bit through your finger, this braid cuts your finger. So the bionic finger was designed to assist in casting big baits so you don't hurt your finger. So let me show you guys how to set up your bionic finger when you buy the rod and it's not on yet and you want to know how to set it up. Basically every angler has got a different way of, of placing his bionic finger and what I normally do is after I buy my rod I normally place the bionic finger on the rod with two cable ties. So that actually helps you to, to move the bionic finger into a comfortable position. As soon as you've got the position that works for you, you mark it with a permanent marker take to your tackle store and you ask them to put it on for you permanently. So that's the easiest way to do. So as I said, most guys have got their own personal preference as to where they want their finger. But I'll just show you guys which is the most comfortable for me. And as I say, if you're new in angling and you don't know exactly how to set it up, maybe this could help you a bit. So basically, when you're going to cast with a big 15 foot rod, the first thing you have to do is to find a comfortable position for your left hand when you're going to cast. I find it very comfortable to grab my rod like this, where I've only got my pinky below the reel seat and three fingers above it. But depending on the size of your hand and how you find it comfortable, just place your hand on it and find a comfortable position. So after you determine what position is comfortable for your hand, you basically want your index finger on the on the on the bionic finger here or the, the casting the trigger. So how this thing works, if you're gonna cast, you're gonna let go of this finger, it's gonna open up and release the line. So you've got to find that comfortable spot for your finger where under extreme pressure when you're casting you let go of this finger you still got control over your left hand and you can hold the rod nice and firm. All right so after you determine the position of the bionic finger and you've attached to the rod you can start practice, practicing the casting with it. All right so there's two ways to actually attach your leader to this before you cast. All right let me show you the one way of, of placing your line onto the bionic finger, you take your finger, just open up the bionic finger like this, hold it in place, grab your braid, from behind clip it over the head of the bionic finger and take your index finger and close the finger like that. So now you can pull as hard as you want, the braid is locked into the bionic finger, you prepare to cast, when everything's ready to cast, you let go of the bionic finger and the braid jumps off your spool comfortably. All right, so that's a, the, the first way, and I think it's the way most anglers do it. But then, often when you're throwing a very, very big bait, and you're fishing with a th not a very strong leader, fishing with a 100-pound leader, and if you're a big, strong guy and you're scared, you're actually going to part the braid on the finger, or it's going to slip a little bit when you cast, you can actually wrap it around the finger twice. So by wrapping it on twice like that, it's going to be much more tight and you can put much more force on your cast. And uh, that will also prevent your braid from parting on the bionic finger. It's not something that happens often. I've just seen big strong guys sometimes part a thinner braid on the finger, but generally it's not something that will happen. But if you're throwing a big bait with a thinner braid, it's just something to remember. You can wrap it around twice and it will come off nice and easily when you let go of the finger. Right guys, so that's the bionic finger setup. It's very simple, um, but as I say, if you're new in the fishing fraternity or something you want to try, these little tips will help you to set up your bionic finger. And it is really something that does improve your casting. Using your finger alone can be very difficult. You can sometimes cut your finger or you've got to use a finger hood when you cast. Just this makes the fishing so much easier. It makes your casting so much easier. And I also find that if you practice this, your costume becomes much more accurate and you definitely gain distance on your cost.